Welcome people to part 10 of Resident Evil 5 on Nintendo Switch. This is where we play the second part of chapter 4. And for this part, I equipped Chris and Sheba with their special infinite ammo weapons, Sheba's longbow, and Chris's Gatling gun. I felt that it was time I showed those off. Yup, it was, uh, all Wesker's doings that many members of STARS have died. Chapter 4-2 is going to be shorter than Chapter 4-1. And we'll also have less treasures to find, but... Right now what's important is having to avoid a new kind of hazard. Well, first of all, me and Chris need to find three emblems for this gate right here. And watch what's going to happen here. Those Magini are going to be controlling those deadly lasers up there. Watch this! <laughs> they just killed one of their own minion, or uh, one of their own brethren. Yeah, you really don't want to get hit by those beams. They don't kill you instantly, but they deal plenty of damage. There are some Magini up there. Want to get them out of the way before I start firing away with my arrows. Oh, and Chris only uses his Gandling gun whenever he is either in attack mode or he runs out of ammo for his other guns. But let's do put him in attack mode. And Sheba's bow is pretty strong. Not only does it have infinite arrows, but they kill, well, most Magini instantly. Oh wait, this is Chris's ammo. Much appreciated. Why wouldn't you appreciate it? This is where we get the first of the free emblems. Uh oh, I heard a giant Magini. You're gonna have to be facing them again in Chapter 4 too. Chris, come on. I found ammo for you. Oh, he's really all the way back there. Okay. Now, let's get back to fighting. It's the giant. Eat my arrows. Come on, you can't take too many more. It's dead. I'm pretty sure more are coming. Ah, uh, but who cares about them? Chris, quit blocking my view. Come on, Roger. Okay, Chris's inventory is full. You also gotta hope your AI partner takes cover from this laser quick enough. Ooh, sounds like another Machini got killed by it. Oh, Chris, seriously? Oh, and now two lasers are gonna be firing at us from each side. Okay, Chris almost got hit again. Oh, got tarantulas. You go squish now. I gotta get over here. I got a herb here for Chris. Oh my god, he got hit again. You can have Roger. Okay, we need to go all the way here. At least to another area where the second emblem is. 
Chris, what are you? Oh my god, he's he's being really stupid right now. But then again, his gandling gun does tend to make him move slower. You take that. Roger. Watch yourself. You're the one who needs to watch yourself, Chris. You keep getting hit by that laser. You take that. Roger. But now I need Chris to boost me over here. Of course more of them are coming. Chris will cover me with his Gatling gun while I go for the emblem. And yet another giant Magini has showed up. I'm gonna kill him and never give him a chance to reach Chris. Die. So much for that freak. Got the sky emblem. Come on. I can't right now. I know you can't. I just wanted to get you back into cover mode. There's also another treasure to shoot down. I want to shoot down that treasure. It's right here. But I'm going to have to go around when I go for it. I don't think I can reach it before those lasers hit me. Oh, there he goes again. I want to go over here to get those bases. Hurry, Chris. And he didn't hurry. Thanks. Now get over here and pick up this herb. Oh, he can't pick it up. I Let's just get rid of this incendiary this. grenade. We don't need it. Thanks for the help. This is definitely one chapter in the game where your AI partner can be pretty reckless. Now there is one spot where I can shoot one of the Magini controlling the lasers in order to make them stop. Another way you can hit them is by using a rocket launcher. But without a rocket launcher with infinite ammo, I'm just gonna have to only take out one of them. Well, I can pretty much only take out one of the laser machini. This one is bound to drop us or unleash us a fellow. Crap! Get off me! Chris, where are you? Hit him. Come on. Okay. Get over here, Chris. Oh, Jesus. Much appreciated. Jesus. Chris, why didn't you take cover? Much appreciated. Well, I don't appreciate you being so stupid. I'm pretty sure he can at least run faster without his Gatling gun equipped. Now get over here, Chris. Or don't. I'm coming! Much appreciated. Just shut up and follow me. Ah, oh, Chris is in such bad shape right now. I I gotta be the one to cover him now. The last emblem is up ahead.
Come here, Chris. We can safely take him on here. Oh, wh why am I equipping my bow? No, you're not grabbing him. Come on, Come on pick up the hurt. Heal yourself. Now Chris is fine for now. You can have it. Okay. Let's get this last emblem. You take that. Roger. That's right, keep the herbs coming. There you are. You snipe at us, I snipe at you. There's a treasure here to shoot down. You take that. Roger. I'm about to reach a spot where I can shoot one of the laser magini. You go all the way back here. Oh yeah, these ancient ruins, it's another stage you can play in the mercenaries. So, I should be able to hit... I can't hit this one. It'll deactivate this laser anyway. Now I gotta get that other treasure I shot down earlier. Not sure if I can grab it before I get hit in time. Yes, I can. That's everything we can get around here. So let's finally get that gate open. Sky Emblem, Earth Emblem, Sea Emblem. We're getting out of here. Now there is a, a treasure, another treasure you can shoot down. Above the doorway right here. The next room is going to be full of... Uh, treasures, I mean, no, not treasures, puzzles that involve rotating mirrors. Mirrors and lasers. And thankfully, these puzzles are, they're pretty easy to figure out. But first, once again, want to make up some inventory space. I'm not going to be needing uh, some of my weapons for the next few rooms. There aren't going to be any Magini for us to face. But there will be a few of those annoying Bui Kichwas. Finally, a tarantula that dropped money. This here is the room with all the mirrors and lasers. And there are exactly three of these rooms you gotta go through. to figure out what to do to get out of here. More like I need to figure out what to do. Watch your step. Those lasers will give us more than just a tan. That's very true, Chris. These lasers are 100% deadly. If you touch these lasers, you are instantly dead. You really gotta be careful here. And it's a good thing Chris is gonna stand up on that platform the whole time while I do this, so he doesn't get in my way. No, I got it. But we're just getting started. We got two more rooms to go through. Of course the first room was going to be easy. You only had to rotate one mirror. Th this next room, however, has two mirrors. You 
you only rotate two mirrors to get through. There's this one, and you just saw Chris picked up a treasure. Don't forget to break down this pillar too. And this is the second mirror you must rotate. That was also easy to figure out. And the final room is going to have several mirrors you must rotate. Okay, that's done. Let's move. Yeah, this second room is done. We still got to get the third one done as well. And there will be um, other doors to open besides the one we need to go through, like this door here and the one all the way on the other side. And this chest right here, don't open that one. It's a trap. There's nothing inside there, and opening that will unleash a lot of weak hitchwas. And so we'll entering this room right here. And good thing Chris can still cover me from all the way over there. Come on, die! All that's in here, besides the enemies, is another BSAA emblem. Oh hey, one of them dropped a grenade. I'm gonna rotate this mirror first. Wait, hold on. Actually, I should have rotated that other one first. Rotate this one first. And then, rotate this. This should open up those other two doors. Oh, wait, hold on. I missed one. Again. There. This will open the two doors on each side. And there will be some more treasures to get. Well, th there's only a gold beetle in this room. The other room, it'll have a lot more items to get, including bases with snakes in them. Hey, you know what, just for giggles, I'm gonna throw an incendiary grenade at these bases. Okay, that didn't even break them. Okay. So I have to break them myself. Hey, hit this one. No snake in this base. Oh, I got... Oh, I got one of them. But the other still bit me. Where's that snake go? Yeah, you had to pay the price for biting me. Got that one. There may have only been four snakes in this room. That's everything in those two rooms. Now let's finally get the main door open. You just gotta rotate a mirror that's in the middle. And I think it's this one. Uh, hold on. Trying to remember how to do this one. Okay, I think this may be it. Excellent. Solve the last puzzle room. And be careful when you go through here. Great, now let's get out of here. Yes, this time we'll officially be out of these ruins. These look like the kind of ruins you see Lara Croft go through. You know, the Tomb Raider.
Chapter 4-2 is over. underground these are no ordinary flowers wait Doesn't look like anyone's been around for a while. You can be sure they wanted to keep this place a secret. Some of this equipment's got the Triso logo on it. Are they working together? Chris and Sheva have pretty much reached the Tricell facility, which is where Chapter 5 will start. But now, Part 10 of the playthrough is done. Oh, I accidentally hit continue again. But anyway, thank you for watching everybody. I'll see you in part 11, where I play the beginning of chapter 5. Bye guys.